you ever thought of bringing home your first ever medal weight but felt that the street triple is too much and the Royal Enfield 650 twins are too much simple? Well, Triumph Motorcycles India now has this sweet little thing called the Trident 660 for someone like you. So apart from being the company's most affordable motorcycle for India, what are its key highlights, what all it packs in, how is it to ride and more importantly, does it manage to give you that proper big bike feel that you deserve to get if you are someone graduating into this segment? Let's find out. But before going ahead, please subscribe to our Express Drive's official YouTube channel and also click that little bell to stay notified. So let's get design out of the way first. So when you take a look at the Triumph Trident 660 in real, possibly the first thing that you'll notice about this motorcycle is the fact that this bike looks so, so much compact. The dimensions aren't overwhelming too, and in fact, the figures are very much in the ballpark of some of the 250cc to 300cc bikes. The Trident 660 is based on a retro theme, and that is evident from the circular all-LED headlight and the rounded TFT instrument cluster, which looks very striking by the way. The rear end is quite minimal and that integrated tail lamp with hanging type number plate and the turn indicators are pleasing to look at. For me, the biggest highlight of this design is the fact that the Trident 660 looks appealing and youthful despite the fact that it doesn't try to scream for attention. The fit and finish and the attention to detail are great too and perfectly in sync with what you would expect from a premium bike maker. Now I know for a fact that a lot of you have been waiting to listen how this motorcycle sounds. So here you go. So typical Triumph inline 3 melody, right? Let us know in the comments if this, according to you, is one of the best sounding Triumph motorcycles or not. So powering the Triumph Trident 660, as the name suggests, is a 660cc inline 3 cylinder engine that's good for producing 80 HP of power along with 64 Newton meters of torque. Well, this engine that you see right here is actually a derivative of the downsized motor that comes on the global spec Street Triple S. Possibly the first thing that you'll notice about this engine is that it is one of the most refined and smoothest engines that you must have experienced on a middleweight and it actually gives you a familiar feeling of the Street Triples, especially in the lower revs. Cross 2,500 rpm mark and the engine starts to come into its element and 4 to 4,500 rpm is after which you will experience a proper surge of power. The mid-range is super strong and the Trident 660 can turn into a hooligan whenever you want it to. However, the top end isn't as maddening and strong as the street triples but that doesn't mean that the Trident 660 isn't a fast motorcycle. The bike feels quick on its feet and once you pin the throttle, the Trident takes little time to reach the triple digit speeds. Now another big highlight of this engine is its tractability. When you are riding this bike in the city, there isn't any need for frequent gear shifts and you can do speeds of even under 30 km an hour very easily in the 6th gear. That said, this engine can deliver the best of both worlds as it's capable of behaving in a very civilized manner in the city and feels highly spirited on open roads. The Triton 660 gets two riding modes, namely road and rain, and also a traction control system that can be switched off as well. Now speaking of the riding position of this motorcycle, well the Triumph Triton 660 offers you a quite relatively comfortable riding position. Well you sit a bit uh, kind of uh, leaning forward on this motorcycle, but the riding position is not too committed and hence it will not tire you even over long distances. The foot pegs on this motorcycle are quite rear set and uh, this actually gives you quite a sporty flavor. And talking of the seat height of this motorcycle, the Trident 660 comes with a seat height of 105 millimeters, which is very, very accessible even for short riders. And this actually makes it a very manageable motorcycle even in city traffic. 
Not only of the seating comfort, well, the Triumph Trident 660 comes with the fairly comfortable seats both for the rider and the pillion. The cushioning is decent and this should actually give you comfort over long distances. So during our test, we came to find out that even after two to two and a half hours sitting on the seat, we didn't have any major complaints and hence this bike should be good enough for those long weekend rides as well. The Triumph Shredin 660 has just enough ground clearance to pass those speed breakers without scraping its belly. However, once the pillion is on board, be ready to be cautious every time as the bike tends to brush its belly at almost every large bump. The Trident offers a decent ride quality and while the suspension is set on a stiffer side, you don't get very uncomfortable over broken patches. The motorcycle feels confident around corners and one key reason behind that is the excellent grip from the Michelin Road 5 tyres. However, the general dynamics of the Trident are such that you'd want to be settled in the seat rather than hanging on one side over those past corners. The brakes also do an excellent job of bringing the bike to a halt and the ABS intervention is smooth too. At just under 7 lakh rupee ex showroom, the new Triumph Trident 660 is currently the most affordable three-cylinder motorcycle that you can buy in India and it undercuts its elder roadster sibling, the CRRR, by over 2 lakh rupees. So all said and done, if you are on the hunt for your first big bike that's not too intimidating, that's easy to ride, that's super manageable, well, in that case, the Trident 660 makes a strong case for itself. Well, there is also the Kawasaki Z650 that you can buy for 70,000 rupees less. But what you get at the same time is one less cylinder and also a 12 HP lower power output compared to the Trident 660. The Trident doesn't guarantee you that absolute sense of thrill and excitement of a proper big bike. But what it promises you is that it will keep you entertained, happy, and engaged on an everyday basis. So will you buy the Trident as your first big bike? Do let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching.